Holy heck, we just got out of the Spider-Man Homecoming Sydney premiere. This shit was off the charts. We're gonna talk about it right now. I'm Ryan. I'm Dries. I'm Scoot. And this is our review for Spider-Man Homecoming. Don't mess with me, because I will kill you and everybody you love. So Spider-Man Homecoming, Spider-Man's new foray into the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It was pretty unreal. What did you guys think? It was unbelievable. I love Spider-Man. But do you? We'll get into that <laughs> later. <laughs> what do you think, Scoot? This is excellent. This is a lot of fun. Heaps of humor. I really like that high school aspect of that. Oh, and yes. that, that really kind of shined through. And I think what I was really excited about was Tony Stark didn't have anywhere near as big a role as the uh, ads kind of made it seem. And I think that yeah. I was really kind of nervous going into it. I agree with but that. This is very much a Spider-Man film. And yeah, it takes the cake. Either probably the best Spider-Man film they've brought out so far. Yes. By Shit. Far. I think. That's a big statement. I think Tom Holland was probably the best out of the three. What do you guys reckon? Like yes. in Spider-Man. Well, uh, yes. I like Tom McGuire. I'm a big fan of Tom McGuire. The, the, the first Spider-Man, the second Spider-Man, the second Spider-Man by far is probably my favorite. But this would be second to them. Ooh. Yeah. I, okay. I, while, while watching the Andrew Garfield films, I quite liked it. The, the first one I loved, the second one I loved even more in the cinema. It but then, sucked. But then, no. but, but then, yeah, <laughs> then I saw it. Yeah, then I saw it at home. And <laughs> fucking, God damn it, Jamie Foxx. Yeah. You ruined that movie yeah, for me. Yeah, and Dean DeHaan. Neither of them are very good in that movie. No, yeah, but, yeah. But, but Garfield is great. Emma Stone is great. And that aspect is awesome. They should have been making more movies with just those two actor, actors and actresses, yeah, Emma yeah. Stone and uh, Andrew uh, Garfield. Killer off? Why? Hello? Because it's the storyline. You should know this. <laughs> this is my point. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> you love Spider-Man, but maybe you don't. No, I do. I love Spider-Man. <laughs> I remember when I was a kid, uh, I used to always rent out this book from the library. It was this like old comic hardback uh, of Spider-Man. How to read. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no, I got a good story with this one. Anyway, I was only ever going to give it back when I turned into Spider-Man. So as a kid, you know, you're waiting, you're waiting. Anyway, I ended up being able to shoot webs from a certain spot, but I still kept the book anyway. So I guess I'm not Spider-Man, but I can shoot webs. I don't want to know that. Yeah. That's too much information. What the hell? <laughs> God, My God. favorite part about this whole movie was uh, the, the relationship. The web shooting. No, no, it was the relationships in high school. Yeah. The, it was so John Hughesy. I thought. And like, that's what yes. they're aiming for, right? Yeah, yeah, so, absolutely. Thought, and there was like splatterings of 80s throughout it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Ferris that, Bueller. Yeah, the, that, that was great. The running scene. Yeah, yes. yeah, that was unreal. Yeah. It was very um, comical aspect. It was really funny. But that one, one of the main things I thought was. Mm. You know, for a Spider-Man movie, there was so much high school stuff. Yeah. Like, yeah. it was over 60% high school and then, you know, 20 to 30% Spider-Man and 10% Stark and Avengers. Yeah. Yeah. So for me, that was unreal. Like, I loved seeing a Spider-Man movie that wasn't so much Spider-Man. We've seen that shit how many five times yeah. already let's get something and, different and, and like, this was i feel mm. like the other two uh, the other film series whatever we call them now was like oh yeah we're in high school but he's in there for like five minutes and, yeah and, and like when they're already 40 years old actors like tim <laughs> mcguire it just doesn't seem like legit i'm but, in high school <laughs> want to go to the prom i think the love interest um between you know peter parker and liz was good yeah i agree but i liked it how he just knew his place and at the end he's just like look you know i can't have a relationship with her, I'm just going to pull away and be who I have to be. Which is Spider-Man! Yeah, it's very Spider-Man. But the sequence where he was walking through the whole pass, that was all, all the feels, man. You yeah. <laughs> for him. Like that, that was great. Yeah, the yeah. woman fuzzies came through. Yes, very much so. What do you guys think of Mark Keaton? Keaton great. was amazing. Yeah. Great, Island. great in this movie. Really ven uh, menacing. Like, I think, very, yeah. I think he, I know you guys are saying Tom Holland might be the best Spider-Man, but I think he has been the best Spider-Man villain to date. Ooh, yes. By far. He was the like he was the most threatening I found. And that yeah. surprised me because I didn't expect that out of him at all. And he had a reason to be a villain. Yep. That's what one thing I absolutely loved. He's like trying to make money. William you know? Defoe, I don't give a fuck what you're yeah, a villain. Yeah. You have no reason to be. But like he was trying to protect his family and give him money and yep. stuff. And that uh, aspect of the movie I really loved. I thought I was really happy with all the integrations they did because it doesn't always in my head like I know they fit in the comics right, but I didn't figure how they were gonna do it in the yeah, uh, cinematic in the cinematic universe. But uh they did a really good job, and like you saw subtle references everywhere to the Avengers films and, and oh, the previous great. things. It was awesome. Yeah, happy, happy was in it. Yeah. happy. <laughs> Finally, we're getting back. 
and he played a huge part. Yeah, Favreau hasn't had their biggest part since <laughs> in all the films, I don't Yeah, I agree. It's good um, to see him playing a great part in this. Like, he always feels weird to me. I don't know. It just yeah. feels like this, like, kind of like a place that shouldn't be in the film almost. Kind of like a Stan Lee cameo. Like, oh, yeah. Stan Lee's Gary. Come on. That was a hard <laughs> That was cool. He peeps his head out of the window. He's like, hello. It's like, hey, Stan, you're still here. <laughs> By the way, he's immortal, so. He is. He's yep, a watcher. Yep, yep. So there's so many things happening in the movie. There is special characters. There's cameos. There's everything happening. We've got a spoiler review coming out very soon, so make sure you check out that. But for now, what the hell was your favorite bits? Me? Okay. I'm up. I'm up. Uh... The end sequence, Spider-Man versus the Vulture. That was an epic battle. That had me in the seat. I was like, ah, it was so good. I turned behind me, David Campbell's there. I was like, oh, no. David Campbell's always there. I know he is, but Hey, Sam. <laughs> I screamed Jimmy, he just like looked away. But anyway, it was absolutely <laughs> epic. That was my favorite. What was yours, Ryan? Um, Everything in high school. I loved all the high school stuff. I think that was something that the Spider-Man universe needs. He's a character, he's a teenager. He needs to be some, needs to be in high school, not for five minutes, mm. for a whole movie. And this movie had it, and I loved every bit of it. Ate it all up. Yeah, man. <laughs> what about yourself? I love the sequence where, where Peter goes to the suburbs, goes to a party, and then tries to be Spider-Man, and we see the limitations of his powers. It's not very good when there's no, no big buildings around right, or yeah. anything, right? <laughs> He's trying to flip through and falling through shed roofs and everything. I thought that was great. It's a real good differentiation from everything we've seen oh, before. Definitely, yeah. man, definitely. What was your worst part? Worst part? Okay, I always say this. I hate low points in the movie. There doesn't have to be low points ever. Can't he just get the girl, fight the villain, win, and become an Avenger? That's my low point. <laughs> your low point is your life, mate. Uh, what was your scoop? <laughs> um, uh, Michael Giacchino wrote this awesome version of the TV show theme and it only played over the credits. I really, I was hoping that would kick in at some point in the yeah. film. But Giacchino! The, the score is really cool, but uh, that theme kind of, it was, they showed it right at the start and they never brought it back and they yeah. kind of disappointed me a little bit. Fair enough. My worst part was Happy Hogan. I'm sorry, I just, <laughs> he didn't need to be in the movie and he was in it oh, so man. much. He was like, he was actually a main character and that kind of did my head in. Like, it, 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 you, brought, you brought in Robert Downey Jr. Fucking bring in John Faravu. <laughs> you got Robert Downey. You just use him. You've already put him in all the trailers. Don't bring him. Hey, did you just pronounce it Faravu? I just say say his name. How do you say it? Favreau. Favre I call you Favreau. Your favorite. Uh, yeah. All right. Fair enough. John Favreau. Faravu. Faravu. That's the villain in Doctor Strange, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. So, is Spider-Man: Homecoming any good? Yes. Yes! No. I hated it. Oh fuck, I'm kidding, it's amazing! Yes, go see it! Oh, <laughs> it's awesome! So once again, I'm Ryan. That's this is good. Scott, this <laughs> is Trans. We're all part of So Is It Any Good. And until next time, make sure you hit that subscribe button, comment below, and let us know what you thought of Spider-Man Homecoming. And if you haven't seen it yet, what are you doing watching this? Get out there and go see it!